the head of the National Education Service Delivery, Mr. Timuri Mure, heads of department, staff and senior executives, teachers and all uh, stakeholders of the Ministry of Education. I'd just like to uh, begin to say that it is my deep honor to be standing here with you all today, along with the uh, fellow Assistant Minister, Honorable uh, Ilyas Asobu Ibonawalu, in our capacity as your fellow servants of the Fijian people. I will speak for myself in saying that never in my life had I anticipated that one day I would find myself leading this ministry. Not because of any of its shortfalls, but because I have always felt that the responsibility this ministry carries requires a very special skill, skill set. However, I am comforted that the Word of God is always our guide. He who knows us when we were yet to be born, to be conceived, he who directs the affairs of men, he who knows when we sit down or rise, and who knows our thoughts from afar. He calls us by name. I would like to assure you all that we are a team, a solid team, and we will work together in mutual respect and harmony, and we will not be fearful of conducting our respective roles on the highest standards expected of us at all times. You will have noted in the last few days that there will be changes happening in the ministry. Changes can be a good thing, but they can also be daunting. And can I, I can assure you that I do not expect anyone to be uncomfortable with the changes being brought in by the coalition government. Many of you will be familiar with the 60 years, retirement age, that will now return. Many will likewise remember the days of having school chaplains assisting provide counseling in schools. Many will also remember the days of freedom that became abused with uh, grog swiping in school compounds while students' performance fell below standard. We will work together, we will work hard with a renewed spirit of dedication and ensure that whilst we celebrate good change, we will be kind to those around us. As kindness is an antidote for fear and anxiety. In Ministry of Education, there will be policy issues that we will now delve into, beginning with a reinstatement of the three-term study year. If there will be changes of any school term, we need to hold wide consultations on the need to do so to enable stakeholders to take responsibility and feel a sense of ownership of any decision making. We must always remember we are dealing with human beings who need time to accept change. So as a profession that teaches knowledge and human empathy, we must lead the way in engaging with our communities before we make any decisions that will affect them. Therefore, I call upon us all to be patient. I'm well aware that there are many issues that need to be resolved within our ministry. We will not be able to do all that in one day, or one week, or one month. But we will slowly and, slow and surely get to attend to all the needs that have to be addressed to ensure our environment of learning in Fiji is supported by the best organization structure and the most competent, empowered human resource strength that the Ministry has. We also note that there will be a review of the programs of learning that must be tackled to ensure they suit the times you are in and the demands of the fast evolving world you must now prepare for. Tertiary learning institutions will be part of our consultation process and we will be submitting to the Cabinet to have a National Education Summit 
to allow us all to collectively address these issues, we need to address as partners and stakeholders of the education sector in Fiji. I'd like to kindly assure the Office of the Ministers and the Office of the Assistant Ministers are Officers of Public Services. It is your office where you can seek direction and assistance should you wish to. Honorable Assistant Minister Honawal and I will be traveling around the country in the next few weeks after we settle most of the burning issues that we need resolving here at the Ministry of Education Headquarters. Everyone in our various districts will have an opportunity to meet us and familiarize yourself with our policy direction we intake, we intend to embark on together. There are many challenges that confront us today with laws on, on corporal punishment and other guidelines that have become part of our red zones. We are well aware of the teaching environment that prevails today and the extent of challenges faced by you, our teachers. Always remember that love and kindness makes a world of difference to the lives of children who may not want to share the difficulties they face at home, but they display their hurt by being tuned and disorderly. I urge you to use words of empowerment and let the student know that you understand them. Have a lot of rest where you can as teachers you'll always need to be on your best mode of operation. So I urge you, less grog swiping. Let me say please, less grog swiping during school week, and we will be doing a marvelous journey. I want us to know that sexual related offenses by teachers will continue to be one of those most serious offenses any civil servant can dare commit. If you have problems with making good judgment call, then rethink whether you need to be in an environment where vulnerable children will be. There is a zero tolerance on the sexual abuse or exploitation of students, and anyone found guilty of such will be handed to the law to deal with. So please be vigilant and raise the alarm when you feel there are activities underfoot that need to be brought to the attention of the school administrators. Without further ado, I thank you for this uh, traditional welcome today, and done as part of our Fijian traditional way of life and businesses. May we all have a blessed weekend and continue to assure we love and look after our families and the neediest around us. Human empathy is a gift we can impart, and it is what makes us different above all else. Let us all live life as best as we can. I'd like to remind that teaching is a noble profession. In our hands, in our hands is the future. We will run for Fiji, for the world we live in. Thank you very much. Now, whatever.